eyes that never sleep in streets, on buildings, at ATMs. 50 million video cameras silently rolling on our every move, capturing our location and when we were there. Four billion hours a week recorded typically and monitored live possibly, and all of it at the core of a new CBS drama. The CBS show Person of Interest revolves around this concept of a machine that can hear, see, and therefore know just about anything about any of us. Who's doing what with that information? That's part of the mystery. You have a decision to make. The machine gave you another number. The leads on our show are, are doing work that they're uncertain of. They feel ethically uncertain about and yet compelled to pursue it. Most of them are just ordinary people like her. A thousand, two thousand, five thousand different images simultaneously. This machine can see all at once. It's almost like, you know, dare I say, the big guy. Even if you think you can get through the day without being caught on video, your cell phone can sell you out. 83% of American adults now carry one. 35% a smartphone with advanced integration into their daily lives. The public wanted to be protected. They just didn't want to know how they were being protected. The government's been actively trying to build exactly the sort of database and technology that we talk about in the pilot that we feature in, in the show for at least 10 years. So when they finally got a system that worked, they kept it secret. So while person of interest envisions a specific machine, in fact, we already live with one. The connectable dots of many forms of everyday surveillance that are perhaps even more powerful than what Finch and Reese work with.